Hello and welcome back to my channel. Sorry for a long delay because of extreme um, business with my mundane work. So um, as requested, I'm going to begin with the revisions of uh, poems and stories. And in between, I might take up Shakespeare. So today, what I'm going to do is the second poem in the collection of ICSC poems and short stories, Treasure's Chest, and that is Kimball Shanks, The Railway Cat. So without delay, let's begin. Um, Skimble Shanks was written by T.S. Eliot, and he is a 20th century poet, that is, he belongs to the modern poets. And um, his favorite was to write about cats. He has written about cats in, um, you know, he has included them in a book which was published in 1930s, which is known as Old Possum. And um, he has written, basically this book was written for his godchildren. So in this book, you'll not only find the poem about Skimble Shanks, but also McCavity and other cats, whom he gave very magical names and very peculiar names. So in Skimble Shanks, he talks about a cat which is grayish in color, it's a tabby cat. And uh, before I go deeper into the poem and give you explanations, let's discuss some qualities of a cat. Cats are very fragile. They are very active. And, uh, you know, that's what known as a cat walk when uh, the models walk on the ramp. Because when they walk, there is no sound that comes out from their feet. And they walk in a very symmetrical manner. So if you watch the cat, walking, uh, you know, on the borders of a ramp or, sorry, ramp, I'm saying, of uh, a roof, um, the parapet of a roof or jumping from a wall, you will never hear any sound if a cat walks up to you from behind. Cats are very alert too, all right? And um, they're very cute to look at. And so that is what he talks about. Here, he's actually given Skimble Shanks the quality of a human being. And it is like a satire, satire on how, you know, um, human beings can learn from the qualities of a cat, how to be alert, how to be, um, uh, you know, always um, loyal to us, the duties. Because human beings are supposed to be, when they, uh, you know, they lack in, um, uh, they lack in the alertness, they lack in being sincere towards their work. If nobody is watching, they might not even work. So here, in, in by giving example of Skimble Shank, who's supposed to be a supervisor on the station, um, he is actually teaching a lesson to the human beings that you have to learn from a cat. How precise are they when they do their jobs? So let's begin. Skimble Shanks, the railway cat. There's a whisper down the line at 11.39, 11.39 in the night that there's a whisper means people are talking amongst themselves in low voices. When the night mail's ready to depart saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? Has he gone to hunt the symbol? All right, so, uh, you know, here, uh, they are talking about Skimble. So they believe that Skimble is going to, uh, you know, the train cannot move without Skimble being on duty. So they say, where is Skimble? They are waiting for Skimble. Say, uh, we must find him or the train can't start. So just as said, they, they believe that the train cannot move without Skimble being on duty. All the guards and all the porters and the station master's daughter. All the guards and all the porters, that is guards on the train, porters, the people who pick up your luggage. In India, we call them pulley. And so uh, all the guards and all the port this, uh, porters and the station master's daughters. They are searching high and low. They are searching high and low. This means they are searching everywhere for Skimble. Saying Skimble, where is Skimble? For unless he is very nimble, that the night mail just can't go. Nimble here means active. If Skimble is not going to be on duty, if Skimble is not going to be active, the train will not move. At 1142, 
What is the name of the train here? Underline, it's the night mail. At 11.42, then the signal's nearly due. Signal's nearly due means the signal has to go around 11.42. And the passengers are frantic to a man. Then Skimble will appear and he'll saunter to the rear. He's been busy in the luggage van. So when the passengers are frantic, frantic means they're running, you know, they're very uh, panicky because if symbol will not, skimbal will not come in time, the train will not move. And if the train will not move, they will get late for their destination. Then skimbal will appear and he'll saunter to the rear. Saunter means he'll walk in a slow pace to the rear. Rear means to the back part of the train. Till now, he was busy in the luggage van. So where was Skimble till now? He was in the luggage van. So look at Skimble. He's checking each and every part of the train, not just what he's supposed to check. So he's a supervisor. He's leaving no stone unturned. He gives one flash of his green eyes and the signal goes all clear. Look at the symbolism. The cats have green eyes and the green is supposed to be a signal not only in the train, but also if you go on the traffic, the lights, when they go green, then you're supposed to move. So when he looks at the guard with the signal with his green eyes, the, even the signal becomes green and gives that uh, the hint that you can, the train can move. And we are off at last for the northern part of the northern hemisphere. So where is the train headed to? It is headed to the northern part, the north part of England. You may say that by and large, it is Kimball who's in charge of the sleeping car express. So by looking at the activities of Kimball, one can say that it is Kimball who's in charge of the uh, sleeping car express. From the driver and the guards to the bagman playing cards, he will supervise them all more or less. So he's not just going to supervise the main parts of the train. He's going to supervise every, every little person, every person from minor to major, uh, you know, duties on the train. Down the corridor, he paces and examines all the paces of the travelers in the first and the third. He establishes control by a regular patrol. So he's not only observing the people who are on duty, but he's also observing the passengers on the train because he uh, you know wants to know if there is a criminal he looks at the faces of all the passengers with keen eye patrolling yeah patrolling means you know usually police police are supposed to do patrolling patrolling is like you take a uh, you know around for safety that usually pet, uh, police do if you have noticed uh, at night police cars patrolling cars go around so here, a Skimble is also doing the same thing. As he know at once if anything occurred, he will watch you without thinking, and he sees what you are thinking. So he can also read your mind. He can see your face. He can watch your expressions and know what is going on in your head. And it is certain that he doesn't approve of hilarity and riot. So looking at the kind of serious personality does he have and the alertness, it is quite evident that he doesn't like hilarity. Hilarity means people laughing loudly and creating ruckus. And riot, riot, of course, means no kind of noise and chaos. So the folk are very quiet when Skimble is about and on the move. You can no, play no pranks with Skimble Shanks. Yeah? You're not allowed to play any kind of games with him. He's cat that cannot be ignored. So nothing goes wrong on the northern mail when Skimble Shank is aboard. So he's not an ordinary cat. You cannot ignore him like an ordinary cat. You need to pay attention to what he says. And he never says anything but his actions. And so nothing can go wrong on this train as long as Skimble Shank is there. That is the assurity. That is the kind of confidence people get when Skimble Shank is on the train. Oh, it's very pleasant when you have found your little death with your name written upon the door. So look at the kind of preciseness he has in train. No passenger has to go helter-skelter looking for his, uh, you know, seat or for his berth. His name is properly written on every berth. And the berth is very neat with a newly folded sheet and there's not a speck of dust on the floor. There is every sort of light. You can make it day or dark or bright. There's handle that you turn to make a breeze. So everything is in order. 
nothing that you have to complain for. Like if you go in Indian train, sometimes you have to call the people. Oh, please give me, uh, you know, my bed is not clean. Give me a new cover. If you are going, you know, in a second day, see, or a third day, see, I want this. This is dirty. Please pick it up. But when in this train where Skimble Shank is going, everything is absolutely in order. There's a funny little basin. You're supposed to wash your face. And so you have every facility, like you, you are almost in your home. Everything is fixed, span, neat and clean and in order. Then the guard looks in politely and will ask you very politely, do you like your morning tea week or strong? But Skimble's just behind him and behind him and was ready to remind him because Skimble won't let anything go wrong. So, you know, usually people who are on duty don't talk nicely to the passengers. Have you gone in a train? When you call somebody, you know, please clean it. He will give you 10 excuses and you know, will not talk nicely to you. Okay, fine, I'll come, I'll, I'll do it for you. But because the symbol is there behind this person, so even the workers on the train are very polite and they exactly know how to treat the passengers. And when you creep into your cozy berth and pull up the counterpane, counterpane is the shutter of the wind, uh, you know, the windows on the train. You ought to reflect that it's very nice to know that you won't be bothered by mice. So you can be rest assured that if you are in the train where Skimble Shank is there, you'll not be bothered by any rats or any mice. You can all that leap to the railway cat, the cat of the railway train. In the watches of the night, he's always fresh and bright. So even on the duty at night, Skimble Shank is never tired. He seems to be always alert and always on his, uh, you know, always on toes. Every now and then he has a cup of tea with perhaps a drop of scotch while he's keeping on the watch. So how does he say alert at night? Why doesn't he feel sleepy? Because he keeps drinking a cup of tea only stopping here and there to catch a flea. You were fast asleep at crew, and so you never knew that he was walking up and down the station. Crew is a station in England. So even when your train is passing from one station to another, the poet says that you won't even come to know because the train is so smoothly going from one station to another that you can have a very peaceful sleep. And as it is written in the poem, that it is a night mail. So you're traveling in the night and there is no disturbance. Then that he was walking up and down the station. You were sleeping all the while. He was busy at Carlisle. Carlisle is another station. So while you were sleeping peacefully, Skimble Shank was on duty. He used to take report of on every station what is going on from crew to Carlisle. When he greets the station master with elation, with elation means with all joy and happiness. So even at night, he doesn't have even a single drop of tiredness on his face. He's as fresh from one station to another station as the train is progressing. Skimble Shank is very happy. But you saw him at Dumfries when he speaks to the police if there's anything they ought to know about. So even if there is something going wrong in the, you know, on a station, he is very alert and he talks to the police at Dumfries. Dumfries is a station. So, you know, trains pass from one station to another. And so here he's doing his duty. When you get to Gallow Gate, then you do not have to wait for Skimble Shank will help you to get out. So when you reach your station, Gallow Gate, that is a destination, you don't have to worry. Why? Because you will reach the station and Skimble Shank will help you to get down. He gives you away his long brown tail. It says, I'll see you again. You'll meet without fail on the midnight meal, the catty, the cat of the railway train. So when you get down from the train, he also says goodbye to you nicely. It's not that he doesn't bother, okay, your station has come, please get on, go. No, he says nicely to you, goodbye. All right, and you are so happy with the service that you actually want to travel again on that train. Okay, so I'll give you the meaning of certain words. In the first para, saunter. Saunter means to walk in a slow motion. Hilarity, hilarity means extreme amusement. And a crank to shut the window if you sneeze. Crank to shut the window if you sneeze. Crank is the shutter, shutter on the window. And... Um, 
There is also a word that comes, tabby cat. Tabby means a brown, grayish cat with stripes. That's a very common cat, all right? A brown, grayish cat. So in the poem, you'll find that word. I'll just let you know where it comes. Okay, I'm, I'm not able to find it. But once you find that word tabby, it means that, you know, a brownish grayish cap with stripes on it. So that's it for Skimble Shanks. Um, any questions, you can put them in the comment. And next, uh, I'm going to go in for ICSC class 10th. I'm going to talk about angel in disguise. Thank you.